Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday. <clears throat> hope everyone had a great weekend. I uh, hope everyone's going to have a great day, but let's talk about algae. So in my fish room, I have uh, one timer that controls all the lights on this rack. It's a timer that uh, a power strip is plugged into, and that power strip has those LEDs on it, those LEDs on it, these LEDs on it, and those LEDs all connected to the timer. So when the timer timer energizes or powers on, it powers on all these lights. And for a while, long time, I had them on probably from about 5.30 in the morning till about 10 at night, which really turned out to be too long, obviously, if you know anything about plants. <clears throat> but I get up quite early and I come down here before work to, uh, to check on the fish and feed the fish and do any quick maintenance I can do. Because when I get home from work, I don't really have a whole lot of time with the family and stuff. So I want to concentrate on the family. I don't want to, you know, put them off. So that's what I do. But long story short, I came down here one night, maybe two weeks ago, and I have this 30 breeder here. <clears throat> Bought at the flea market, pretty cheap, 30 bucks. Set it up with this light that I already had. I had already turboed this light about many, many years ago. Put a new ballast in, T5s, some good looking bulbs. That was many years ago, the bulbs. And um, bought some dwarf satch from a fellow YouTuber, Mike, from Arizona. He's actually originally from Long Island, but he opens his videos, Michael from Arizona. Anyway, um, I put this beautiful looking dwarf sedge that I bought from him for a great price. He grows outside. <clears throat> and also some water wisteria. Um, came with some duckweed, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, I put them down here. I bought some pea gravel from Home Depot. I don't know, $3 a bag. Threw uh, a sponge filter, a cycled sponge filter in here, and these mollies. Actually, the mollies weren't in here originally, but. Um, anyway, I came down here one night and I was doing some maintenance after the lights had gone off, so I turned the timer to the on position. Then I went upstairs to bed. Came down the next morning, the lights were on, no problem, because it was after 5.30. Went to bed, or went to work, did my day, came down, you know, maybe after dinner, went to bed. This happened for two days. Well, finally, on the third day, I noticed this tank looked like that all green algae everywhere and I had green algae up in this tank and algae everywhere let's just say so I really didn't know what was going on I kind of thought about it for a while checked the timer and realized it was on for 48 hours at least straight and that's what happens so I had these creamsicle Lairtail mollies that I bought at PetSmart and I plan to breed for profit. Uh, they dropped their first fry when they were in this tank. Oh, there's maybe 14 or 15 of them. They're growing quite, quite fast. They eat like pigs. Um, and I'm like, well, mollies eat algae, so let me throw the mollies in there. Threw the mollies in here. There's also some more fry in there. I don't know if you can see the little fry in the corner. No, I don't think you can. And I'm like, all right, the mollies will eat the, eat the algae. Well, they really haven't. Uh, I did put a bristlenose pleco in there, all the way in the back one of my albinos, you can see. There's a lot of algae for him to eat, and uh, he really isn't eating a lot of it. Uh, I did do a gravel vac in most of it, but that, as you can tell, didn't really help. So I need some help with this tank. I don't know what to do. I've got green algae on the rocks. I've got green hair algae on the plants. And the object is to grow these plants and sell them to the local fish store. They don't seem to be doing very well. I think they're being outcompeted for nutrients in the water. Um, I've actually stopped fertilizing this tank. I was using uh, Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op in the new green bottle this stuff works great you can see all my plants and the other tanks are doing well this tank not so much because of the light situation so let me know what i should do 
Uh, is it a total loss? Do I take all the plants out? Clean them by hand somehow? I don't know, bleach dip something. Do I darken the tank for, you know, four or five days and hope everybody survives? I don't know what to do. So if you guys could let me know, uh, easiest way that you know to get rid of this green hair algae and green algae. And you know, if it involves purchasing another fish like Otto's, a lot of them, I'll do that. Um, if it involves, you know, a mono shrimp, I don't, hard to get a mono shrimp here. So I won't do that, but let me know what you think. Uh, buy a species to eat the algae, uh, block out the tank for a week, manually clean the plants. Quite frankly, I'm looking for the easiest, no nonsense way to get it done. What is that? What is that? I think that's a bug. Yeah, it's a bug. Go in there and get eaten. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in a quarter from a quarter. I'm co-op stream. He streams Sunday, twice a day, 3 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. I don't normally join the 8 p.m. Eastern because uh, family time, but the 3 p.m. I'm usually on. So hopefully I'll see you guys there and uh, have a great day.